What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're out here in central North Carolina and we are looking for some stuff. There are black rat snakes out here, northern water snakes, box turtles, all kinds of different little turtle species around here. It's very spread out but the habitat is actually very beautiful. If you look, a lot of big trees, a lot of water and there's also some salamanders to find here so uh, not sure what we're gonna find but we're hiking and we're gonna see what we can find. The foothills of the mountains are some of my favorite looking landscapes in all of North America. Also referred to as the Piedmont, this is an area where the elevations begin to increase before getting to the true mountain regions. Oh, here we go, it's a stag beetle. Check this out, it's a female stag beetle. They don't have the huge tusks on the front like the males, but they are pretty cool. This is actually a reddish brown stag beetle. This is one of two stag beetle species found here in this Piedmont of North Carolina. There's also the giant stag beetle, which is a pretty cool species to see. Now the females kind of look like a regular beetle. They've got the smaller pinchers up front, but the males have those very famous giant pinchers. And the reason that they have those pinchers is actually to fight other males, which is really cool. I've never actually gotten to see them fight, but it's really interesting. They're a very cool species. They'll live under and in logs. They'll come out during the daytime a little bit, sit on some stuff. And you oftentimes see these guys around lights at night. Ah, almost fell. They're really good at climbing. As you can see, they've got little hooked claws right there. And uh, not something I see too much back home. There is a population of them a few hours from me, but uh, I don't get to see stag beetles regularly. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's put this little beetle back and keep walking. There you go. North Carolina's Piedmont is an interesting thing, having large rocky outcrops and small floodplains in the same areas, which means some of the more common reptiles can actually be found here. A lot of mosquitoes out here. <laughs> Rough. This all looks really good for like black rats, box turtles, even like little sliders that come up here, common snappers. There's a turtle right there. Look, it's a box turtle. Look at him. It's an Eastern, they got Easterns here. That's right. They don't, have, they don't even have three toes here, I forget. Oh yes, check him out. Look at this little guy. That is an Eastern box turtle. Now, eastern box turtles are the most common box turtle species. In fact, they're the only box turtle species that's going to live here. They live up and along these more northern areas from me. Now, by me, we get the three-toed box turtle. And you can see a lot of differences. Eastern box turtles have much brighter coloration. He's staying out for me, too. That's great. Eastern box turtles have a lot of different coloration. And the males have red eyes. And this is a male. You can see it's got bright red eyes. And they've got a little indent on the bottom of their shell. See that right there? indents. That's how you can tell a male from a female as well. They normally have bright yellows and blacks. That's the, that's the normal colorations for this turtle. This is a pretty nice one. Uh, they definitely have some really gorgeous ones that live around here. This is not full grown. They'll get about twice the size. Box turtles are super nice turtles, but normally they'll close up. This one's not closing up on me, but they have a hinged shell. There's a hinge right there and they go whoop and they can fully close into the shell. Watch this. See? And see now, no predator could get to him. It's really cool. And see, he's coming right back out. Normally, these guys hide. Normally, these guys are a very shy turtle species. Lots of yellow, lots of brownish black. These guys are omnivores. They'll eat all kinds of different plants, bugs. Their favorite thing to eat are worms and little bugs, little insects that they find. And uh, this guy was just cruising around. They're normally out during this time of day, kind of the afternoonish time, looking around in the shade for bugs. And uh, you'll see them in the evening time. And you'll also see these guys a lot in the rain. And in here, you'll see kind of all these little pools of water. That's a great place to see box turtles in the morning and evening times because they'll go and sit in the water and just rest there for the day. And the afternoon time when they're all nice and heated up is when they start moving just like this. Look at that. It's been a few years since I've seen an eastern box turtle. Eastern box turtles have a pretty nice size range along the east coast as well as west of the mountains. And uh, they go up quite a bit north. Now by me, we get the three-toed box turtle and the Gulf Coast box turtle. And you know, these guys don't have three toes on their back feet and they've got a more square head. If you look at their head, it's more of a square build. And they're actually a little bit more energetic than three toads on average, and they are aggressive towards other turtles more. Three-toed box turtles are normally super friendly to other turtles around them, but eastern box turtles are actually territorial to other eastern box turtles. So they actually fight to flip each other over to get the other one out of their land. And when they flip over, there's something really cool that they do. They take their neck and they stick it out and flip themselves over. Oh, it's okay. He's not going to do that for me because he's nice and relaxed. When you pick an eastern box turtle up, they're going to hiss. You're going to hear tss when you pick them up. 
And uh, that's something that they do to keep predators away from them. Not much will eat box turtles. They're actually not really good to eat for many different species. But uh, a lot of things will mess with them. The biggest thing for box turtles is cars. Cars hit box turtles all the time. And uh, while there's not really any cars back in this little forested area, any of them that live along edges, that come out to sun, uh, right alongside the roads, those ones oftentimes will get hit. Now, around this time of year, we're actually gonna start getting babies within the next couple of weeks here in North Carolina. They will have laid their eggs you know, about a month ago, right this second, and uh, the females will lay a little, will dig a hole along some kind of pathway or some open area, lay probably around eight to 10 eggs on average, and then they're gonna be hatching out very soon. And the babies actually look just like three-toed babies. So they all look very similar when they're young. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting to see one of these while we're here, but uh, really cool to see one out in this little lowland area. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this box turtle down to where I can keep hunting for the day. There you go, little buddy, back on your sticks. See ya. Well guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe and like for more future content. That's all for today. We will see you guys next time.